Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, we are MC Inhale and uh, today I will be reviewing, as you can see I've got here, the best survival tech you can get. So, we're going to start, with these aside, we're going to start with this. It's uh, my personal knife. I uh, use it for unboxing. It's just a Swiss Army knife, so it's pretty simple. And it's an average thickness knife, so it's not it's not one of those super thick ones with like hundreds of tools on it it's one that's good for you to carry in your pocket it's got uh, I think it's 12 or 16 applications on it and those include a uh, small blade as you've seen large blade bottle opener and can openers and uh, scissors which is always a really useful one um, and on the other side, there's a couple of ones. There's a corkscrew, a uh, hook, and punch uh, reamer and sewing eye. There. It also, of course, always comes with the uh, little key ring, so you can attach it to anything you like. And in the side, the hidden toothpick and tweezers. Now, this knife is like other knives, and most knives, very sharp when it comes which makes it good for cutting and uh, that's always good when you're in the wild because you need to cut lots of things you're going to cut sticks I mean obviously in most situations you'll just be whittling a stick but if you've actually got lost or something then you'll need something like this to for food and to build shelter and other commodities in the wild so yeah, that's the so knife. It costs about 25 quid depending where you get it, which is, I think is very good for such a high quality multi tool. And what I've got, I've got it in a, it's a Victorinox uh, a handyman. And I've got it in something known as Silver Tech, which is um, a different design instead of the classic red. It's a, I think it looks a lot cooler. Okay, let's move on to this. You may have noticed this. This is a uh, 11 portable battery. Now, something special about this battery is that it's solar powered. And as you can see, this little green light at the top here, that's showing that it's being charged. That's obviously by my lights here. But um, it will continue to be charged very well in the sun. Um, if you've got it, well, the way I like to use it is I like to use a clip, um, a uh, um, a crocodile clip, it's not a crocodile clip, but it's it's a clip that came with it and what I used to do, for that, do with that is I strap it on the back of my backpack and I leave it on the back of my backpack for the day and it will probably charge up uh, two or three if you're in bright sunlight uh, I went to America, San Diego, very hot and the bright sunlight charged it up several times and uh, it can then be used three or four times to charge an average iPhone which is pretty good and then once it's on, right, so I've got three bars of power there and you can just turn it off and leave it charging. So yeah, it's a let's have a look at the back. It's a six thousand milliamp hour battery, and the charging rate for the solar power is uh, five volts. And then it's got one output, which is a one amp output. So not ideal one amp, but it is uh, still sufficient. And as always, if you do not want to waste all your time charging it up, you can just stick a micro USB in there and charge the whole thing up. That's another output and then there's a uh, output on this side. And something very interesting I find about this oh yeah, something very interesting I find about this uh, this battery is you may have noticed this small what looks like an LED up here. See that? Well basically if you double click that you then get a uh, full on torch which is pretty good especially if you're in a in a situation where you need power. Right, that's the portable battery. That is probably also about 20 quid. I got it on Amazon as well. Amazon is where I get all my stuff. Like Amazon. And uh, then we come to this. Now I haven't actually opened this yet. Uh, this is a Camelback and I will be using it for my uh, uh, Duke of Edinburgh expedition. It is a 2 litre uh, water reservoir. Uh, it's called the Antidote Reservoir. It costs about £25. You can get a 3 litre one for the same amount, but uh, they're very large. You may not need that, so I'll just uh, get this open. 
is what we got. Two units, the actual reservoir, which will hold two litres. It's a simple uh, lock-in, lock-out uh, screw adjustment at the top here. Now, uh, what's special about this is this wire. Most uh, large backpacks will have a, um, a, a slot for you to push a hydration wire out of. It'll say H2O or something like that. And um, yeah, it then feeds from the bottom of your uh, camelback, as you can see here, to because that's obviously so the water will you'll you'll have your camelback in your bag draining like that, and it'll it'll go towards the bottom. So the water, this this is part part of the, uh, the tube, will then plug in the bottom. So it's a pretty simple mechanism. You push it like that, and it it gives you space. So. Yeah, just pop, push it in a bit, and if you want to do that, take it out. It doesn't doesn't go in normally? Oh, it does. Yeah, you can just you can just push it in, click in. But to get it out, you need to push that, and then it goes in. Right. There we go. So once you've got that, you then have the uh, the bite valve. And very simply, you just bite. So yeah, it's very simple. Two liters. So that's uh, maybe half of what you'll need if you're going on a very long walk. Uh, if you're going on a very long walk, yeah, so most of the time this will be plenty. So that is my top survival tech. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe, it's greatly appreciated.